motion to cancel the July board meeting by Mr. Knapp, second by Ms. Lathan. Any discussion? Well, last July we met like 15 times. I think we're just trying to average it out now, or what's going yes. on? Yes, <laughs> that is the point. That's the point. I assume, Dr. Wardell, there's no urgent business that we proceed this time. No, sir. With the uh, legislature still in special session and with no end in sight, uh, you know, uh, we think we'll be fine. Okay. Are we ready to vote? No. I, I, what is the reasoning and, and how, how did this come about? I, I have not having no meeting in July. Um, I'm working with short history, but I understand this is something that has uh, occurred before with this district and, um, you know, we, we looked at the, uh, what we had as far as our agendas, what might be proposed, and we felt like, uh, you know, uh, with your approval, that uh, we could uh, forego this meeting. So I understand something has happened in the past in this district, and it's also something that's not uncommon with other school districts. July is a fairly light month as far as decision making, and May and June aren't, so it's a way for us to take a break because we're not off for this summer. The board's not. We're not. Any other comment? Discussion? Ready to vote? All in favor of canceling the July board meeting? Opposed? Unanimous. Consider approval of board operating procedures. Um, pardon me? Did I skip something? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had it checked off already. Consider approval for tentative board meetings for July, I mean for 2011-2012. We had that in our packet, and I think the only thing that was odd was April. Was there one, one meeting that was not on the second Monday? The rest were pretty much um, same. You want to take a look at that? It's on 106. Yeah. It's been moved and seconded that we uh, consider approval of the tentative board meetings for 2011-2012. Any discussion? Yes, I, I, uh, if we're going to move the spring break, then the board meeting will fall right in the middle of the spring break. So uh, having say, said that, I, I would like to amend the motion to uh, uh, approve this with the uh, change of March 12, 2012 to the March 19, 2012, if we alter the spring break. Actually, that's something that you can do um, right after the new year, as soon as it's passed. You can do that um, prior to that. I wouldn't suggest that you change it right now because you don't know what the vote is going to be in a few minutes. Um, are we and also the April one, I believe, was moved because of the, the change to the first Monday due to the bad weather day, as noted in the agenda. Would you like to go down there's and no, consider? There was no second to that amendment. Yeah, I, I thought you were second. Yeah, oh, you I did? Seconded. Okay. So what you're saying is we can pass this this evening and then sometime down the road things change. Yeah, we, can, yeah. we can amend yeah. it. So. But if, we have, if we're considering the calendar down here to let um, on down, can we take that? May we have permission to move and go to this agenda first and then come back? Anyone object to? Moving. On I, don't, this. I don't think we have to, Ms. Greg. We can go ahead and approve the board meeting dates, and then amend it. Amend it later on, because we may decide that even though if we do or don't change the dates, that we still want to meet that date. Whatever. Okay. We can change it after the first of the year. Something else might come up later, and we yeah. can do it later. Yeah. Okay. We have a motion on the floor and a second. Can I clarify um, the question, please, Madam Chairman. I understand the question right now would be on the amendment. The amendment was to change um, the March date. The March, because March. of the March, March 12th. Change it to the 19th if we right. change spring break. Not oh. 
Okay. But that's the amendment, right? That's what's on the floor. Um, is there a second on the amendment? Yes. There was or was not. Okay, misunderstood. So would die for the lack of a second. Okay. No second. So we're back to the main motion. All in favor of the tentative um, approval of the tentative board meeting, say aye or raise your. Let me see. Raise your hand. Da, 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 da. That's unanimous. Opposed? No. Okay. Okay, now we're down to consider the approval of board operating procedures. I was trying to get to this because I was excited that we have a board operating procedure in place. We're working in progress. Well, thank you, Dr. Waddell. Appreciate it. Uh, I need a motion. Motion. Uh, Mr. Knapp, second. Ms. Fowdy, discussion. Anyone? But thank Dr. Waddell too for helping us yes. uh, catalyze this. And I think you took the minutes. Even. Yeah. Right he your did. iPad or notebook. That was great. Thank you. Yes. I'll just Any questions? For, I'll just say for discussion just for the public. It's, it's procedures something we haven't had that we now formally have that the board's been working on for a while. So that's right. what this is all about. And uh, we have in there that we will revisit them yearly and update it. So it's a good starting point so that um, anytime a new board member is elected, we can hand them our board operating procedure. So thank you. Are we ready to vote? Are, are, are these procedures not in policy somewhere? They're, None of them are. There are policies that are in the back of that that I provided to you that relate to that. But right. no, sir, these, these are procedures about the way the board operates, so they're not in the policy manual except for where they're specifically noted. Right. Any other questions, comments? Are we ready to vote? All in favor? All opposed? Are you vote abstention? Are you vote? I didn't see your name. You didn't know? You were writing. <laughs> okay. okay, that's unanimous. We're down to monthly investment report. Ms. Okay, Teresa. We have $393 million invested with a lead average maturity of 16 days. Our monthly earnings were $44,000. Our year to date earnings were $524,000. And our average yield to maturity is 0.124%. No, no. Okay. You need a motion? Mr. Ferguson? Second by Mr. Knapp. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Budget amendment uh, number 14. <clears throat> This budget amendment is needed in the debt service fund. It relates to our most recent refunding and records the sources and uses of funds. The net effect is essentially a $2,000 increase in fund balance. Yeah, $2,000 increase? We want $2,000 increase in fund balance is the net effect. Need a motion? Mr. Ferguson, second by Ms. Uh, Latham. Any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Then County Appraisal District nomination for board vacancy. Uh, who's that? Oh. No, ma'am. Uh, we just, uh, if, yes. We just need someone, a uh, board member. Uh, there, based on the uh, the size of the school district, the uh, the district has uh, uh, some uh, two seats that are available to it on the appraisal district. There's a vacancy, and uh, but nominations uh, can be uh, sent in uh, by all entities that participate in the appraisal district. So um, we assume that you would want to make a nomination. 
um, to have that seat filled. So all that's required is uh, for nominations, mm -hmm. a motion for nomination and for that nomination to be approved. Is this the one that would resign uh, and then it's just until the end of this year? That's correct. Okay. Andrew, Madam President, I'd like to um, nominate John Mahalik out of, um, let's see, Carrollton. What's the name? John Mahalik. Okay, M -A -M -A yeah, we had, that's the one that we had information on. It's been moved and second that we um, nominate John Mahalik for the Denton County Appraisal District nomination for board vacancy. Would also uh, like for us to consider Mr. Tom Washington. I'm not sure how we do the procedure at this point. Did you say we had two? Do we have two? Yeah. We only have one vacancy. Oh, one vacancy filled. It said one part that ended in December. Is no, ma'am. There, there's just one vacancy. Um, you can you can nominate. Well, probably should wait for a second on Mr. Ferguson's yeah. motion. Okay, so if I may. Um, you can you can send in more than one nomination. That's possible. Um, just something to consider. However, the board of directors of the appraisal district will be the ones who decide uh, on the uh, uh, who fills the place. Uh, it would be more it would be clear for that board and more powerful if one nomination goes forward and, and not two. That it would probably be confusing for them when they make that decision of just what this board really wanted. Well, procedurally, Ms. Craig had suggested that we have both nominations on the table. We could perhaps discuss them and then vote them in the order that they were nominated, and that way we can make it uh, unanimous, hopefully. I'm open for discussion. Uh, who nominated Mr. Miller? So maybe she used to speak. Um, I was uh, contacted by Mr. Mihalik um, of his interest in serving on this Denton County appraisal board. Um, I've worked with him on several different things and um, find him to be an honest person. I can't, I do not know Thomas Washington at all, so I cannot speak to that. I'll speak to Mr. Washington then. Uh, Tom Washington, I've known him for about 10 years. Uh, he also is a resident of Carrollton. He's been a, a big supporter of the uh, school district, very involved in the, the community without, throughout the school district and also has helped us with several of our bond elections. He's also been very involved at the county level uh, for a number of years in, in politics, so he's familiar with a lot of the uh, structure of the county, the, the commissioner's court, the appraisal board, all these people. He knows the, all the players very well, so I think he could step in his role and be an uh, expert. And uh, I think it's ironic we've often scrambled to get people to do this, and here we have two very well-qualified people to do it, but I would I would urge you to strongly consider Mr. Washington. We have two. Uh, anyone else wishing to speak for either Mr. Washington or Mr. Mihalik? Before we do either one, I'd like to, um, even though he's not here, thank Mr. McCarty for his uh, uh, service to this uh, this board. Because uh, and he, the reason why he resigned is because he's now a. A LISD That's substitute, right. yes, and so he and he really loves it, and the kids actually like him as a substitute, so that's good. So uh, we haven't really lost anything; we've gained a substitute, a really good one. So, and uh, so uh, even though he's not here, um, I'd like to uh, thank him for his service for us. Um, and that doesn't saying um, I know both of these gentlemen. I, I do know Mr. Washington better. He has been involved in the district, and he knows. Uh, the area pretty well. Um, I would be happy with either one of these gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Mihalik is uh, has, as everybody sees with the uh, thing that was passed out, the email that was sent to me by him, he's uh, volunteering for this and it's, it's similar to having uh, your, sometimes your skin peeled from your body because you are going to be dealing with people's property taxes. Uh, so uh, Going to give both these gentlemen kudos for stepping forward and wanting this job. Um, so I'm actually for both. Either one would work for me because I think they're just but good, good service, uh, community service people, and um, they uh, would both do an outstanding job, I believe. Any other discussion? 
Are we ready to vote? Um, vote all in favor of Mr. Mihalik. Mr. Washington. The Mr. Halick will be the name that we will send forward. Latham, Ms. Fowdy, Mr. McDaniel, Ms. Gregg, Mr. Knapp. Those for Mr. Washington, Mr. Ferguson, and Ms. Kyer. Any other questions? Okay. Next, student I, information system. I believe we're pulling this. Yes, sir. So we, we will come back to you with a, at, at the next meeting. How about student <clears throat> transportation service? And we are asking to pull this one as well. Yes. Yeah, that's... Student services? I'll pull that one? Yep. I'm, Dr. Burnett's in. Yes, yes. shaking. We're still, okay. we're still negotiating yeah, with okay. uh, both the student information system vendor as well as with uh, Durham Transportation okay. about what the cost of services will be for the next year. I read that. That was quite a bit. 